Like I have not been this happy in a lot of years. So I think it's really been a special year and it's it's always nice to end on the best the best note. Cross Country 2022 ended just a few weeks ago, and it was a good long season for our team. And so here in this video, you'll get to hear some of the reflections from a few of our athletes and get the chance to get to know some of them a little bit better. All right, guys, we're here with Max Wechter. Max, you could argue that you had a breakthrough season this year in terms of your fitness and your performance. First of all, would you agree? And if so, explain what was it like to get to this new level? Um, yeah, so I, I think I just was able to peak at the right time this year. I feel like in the past I peaked pretty early and then had trouble at the end of the season, but I felt like this season I was able to like steadily improve throughout the season and be able to compete and improve continuously so I think that was kind of the key. Yeah a big part of that because that was a trend for a lot of people this year um, a big part of that maybe could be accredited to the coach's new approach to training this season because um, they that was their whole intent was to peak us later in the year um, as compared to previous years so do you think that helped you do you think that had anything to do with you peaking later? Oh yeah, definitely. I think uh, with the summer training, the like in the past it's been two workouts a week and we start workouts really early. And I felt like this summer they slowed it down a little bit. They're like, hey, let's do one workout a week. And it gives us a ton of rest and just focus on mileage. And I think that really like benefited me for, uh, for this season. Yeah, I can agree. It was it was a pretty slow build in the beginning. I was like, when is stuff gonna get hard? But I think the timing was a lot better this year too. I think in my case, it was kind of a special case with that. Cause I think they aimed for me to peak at Santa Clara, which was like halfway through October. Cause they honestly thought they didn't, weren't even sure that I was gonna go to conference. So that, I think I peaked like a little early this year for sure I think um I mean to no one's fault like I honestly didn't think I was gonna go to conference either but <laughs> like then I ended up going to the regionals which was like a month past like my peak race uh where I had my season PR was at Santa Clara so I think honestly I feel like my injury free time um it's been like a year and a half now I think uh since my last injury I think that's definitely accredited to like not my training actually being less like delicate I'd say like I think my body needs like hard training and needs like um like six days a week running or something like that what I, versus what I was doing before was very like careful and strategic and like everyone was kind of scared too scared to to push me um but I think honestly like building that strength through those like long workouts and like all those recovery runs that I had missed in previous years, I think definitely contributed to um, me being injured so much. So I think since track season, kind of letting go of the shackles of like um, what people thought I could, I was, I would like could handle. I think that helped me keep at least a little bit of strength in my in the important parts like my hips, my knees, my feet, all of that. Um, to like, um, I guess, carry me through like a full season. I think that was really helpful. That's, yeah, okay, that is really interesting that you, because I think with your training, um, I didn't realize that, but for all of us, the training this year was, was 
arguably it was less than yeah. or the build was slower than it, what it's been in previous years but for you it definitely the build was probably a lot quicker more aggressive mm -hmm. than what you're used to so yeah that's it definitely, definitely was so with this kind of new approach to training that the coaches had that was intended to peak us a little bit later in the season do you think that your last race of this season which was bronco uh was do you think you were at your peak yeah i was i was definitely at my fittest um at my last race bronco so i think the coaches did a good job uh, with tapering my group for that um, and it was the best race of the season um, in terms of how it went and i um, pr and stuff so uh so i think the the results showed that um but i was definitely still getting into the groove of things um toward that time as well just with uh my summer just being more like cautious running because of coming back from injury and stuff but um but i was then like just able to keep building on that fitness because i kept running with with the group after that so in high school like i was pride of myself and like I could push so hard until the very last second and it was it was something I was really proud of then being injured so much like you kind of lose that it humbles you, you yeah you kind of lose that because every time you try to push you're, you're so scared like oh am I gonna break something am I gonna hurt myself so it took a, a decent amount of time to get that back but I think this season and like through track season two have being able to like test myself and like have like good outcomes <laughs> from it was really helpful in going into this cross country season because then rather than like spending all my time worrying about like oh if I'm put if I push this hard in this workout in this tempo like am I gonna hurt myself like instead I was focusing on like okay how hard can I push today and it was really really nice yeah to, that's very yeah. relieving yeah it was really really thing like um just and a lot less like energy spent on that and more energy spent on like the important stuff. Also having like a group to train with was like oh, incredible. Cause doing, doing tempos by yourself is something I never had to do until I got to college. And I will say that is probably the hardest, like harder than any race is doing like a six mile tempo just by yourself. Similar to Julia Marriott, this is also your first fully consistent season in your college career so far that was uninterrupted by any injuries. So um, just kind of tell us, you know, how does it feel to finally achieve this, seeing that it was one of your biggest goals coming into the season? And how does it feel to finally start getting closer to your PRs again and feeling maybe like the old Caitlin? Um, it feels really good. I had so much fun um, going through the motions with uh, the whole scene, the whole team throughout the summer and in the postseason, and I think it's it's a, a good step in the right direction for, for track. All right, so you had a solid race at the conference meet this year. What kind of confidence did that give you moving forward going into regionals? Um, I think I knew, like, like I was saying in the past, I, I'd had some pretty bad races at the end of the season. Like, I just felt like I'd peaked a little too early. And I felt like going into the conference meet and having a good race there, just like I knew regionals was going to be a good race because I, I knew I still had it. And I knew that, especially with a PR at the conference meet, I knew regionals, I could I could just keep going like same pace and keep the momentum moving. Nice. Yeah, I definitely can. I can relate to the fact that this year I felt a lot better at the conference meet than last year's conference. So you're not alone. Obviously with this consistency in your training came some big PRs and a significant breakthrough in your performance mm -hmm. and you know getting back to the whole training groups thing. Um, you went from barely hanging on in workouts last year to making the regional squad this season which is like something almost something not a lot of people can say they did. <laughs> um, and so is this something you would have ever imagined and just how does it feel to be able to do that? Yeah, I mean, definitely completely unexpected. Even go, even like the week before, re or the week before regionals, or two weeks before at conference, like I didn't think I was gonna go. Um, it was 
yeah, coming from like last year, especially last cross season was really rough. Like I think my, I ran one 6K and it was like 25 minutes or something. <laughs> um, but- Comeback it, season. Comeback season. I feel like that was kind of track. Like track was really my comeback season. My times weren't great. I, w I was training well enough, but it wasn't great. Um, it was the building season. Yeah, and it was the build. It was really a building season, but for me, like never having a like a building season before, I really was like really discouraged from it. So I kind of set the expectations for myself really low this year. Like I honestly didn't even think she was gonna take me to the Riverside invite where like everyone went. <laughs> so I was really at camp. I remember asking her like, "Please take me to Riverside." <laughs> um, but luckily, like going through the season, even though there was some stuff that I didn't get to do. Like going into conference and like being able to tell myself that I made it there from like my freshman year self, all I wanted to do was go to conference. And like, I remember telling myself freshman year when I got injured, I was like, you know what? Conference senior year, like I'm gonna go. I'm telling I'm doing it right now. And I, I don't think I really, I kind of let go of that um, after being injured so much, but I think it was really, really nice that I was able to pull it back and accomplish that and even like go to regionals. I never even, even freshman year, I was like, like <laughs> not really expecting I would ever go, but it was honestly an incredible like thing I was able to do. And, and I can't even like say it was all myself. Cause I, I think if I didn't have like really supportive teammates and like a supportive coach, um, then I wouldn't be able to, you know, like every day show up to practice and push myself past like what I thought I could do that day to, make it there which is uh, incredible last season an incredible last race i'm very very proud of myself and i'm proud of all my teammates who were there with me yes as <laughs> you should be very proud of yourself explain to us how racing felt this cross country season compared to last season uh the season it felt pretty similar just because i was coming off of um not really having a past season of racing and so it was definitely just like racing into fitness and um, it, was, it was a little hard, but I got to do more races this season and like pretty much like all of them. And um, that felt really nice because with each one, like I felt uh, a little more like my old self. <laughs> what are your biggest goals for track season coming up, particularly the steeple? Um, yeah, so I think my, it's kind of interesting. I haven't had a full track season yet. So I think my goal is to hit the, the conference standard early again. And then after that, I'm planning on, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to expect. I'm just gonna run fast. Like that's, that's the goal. Like, I think honestly, my biggest goal is to, like with, with everything that happened in cross country season, I, I want to, you know, keep going with that momentum and really like surprise myself, I guess. In, in track my my little running mantra since high school has always been like like surprise yourself you know because you never know if you're gonna go out you like you don't know if you're gonna pr that day so like why not give it a shot you know um i have no doubt we'll see at least a 5k pr from 18 oh, i hope what 18 30 <laughs> last 18, year 22 don't mind if i if i do crush that pr <laughs> I would say my goals for this track season would to would be to train hard and see where that gets me. I honestly feel like whatever I go into at this point, I'm a, like I'm I'm gonna run some good races. So I, I feel like I'm excited. I, I really want to run a 15. I think I think that would be fun. A 15 is super fun. And what remind me? What is the conference standard for the steeple? Um, it was uh, 940. I also a 10K debut. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I think I definitely have a lot of goals. I have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different goals. I, I have a lot of meets I want to go to that I've never been to before. I have a lot of times I wanna I wanna break that I've never broken before. I wanna- um, Give us one of them. What's, what's your 5K ooh, goal right now? 5K goal, um, I'll, be, I'll be ambitious. I'll say uh, sub 17. I love I wanna, that. That's that's ambitious, but I think I can pull it off. <laughs> I think if I try really, really hard, I think I can pull it off. I yeah. seriously think like the sky's the limit. <laughs> the sky's the limit. You keep building the way you did mm -hmm. off of cross. Mm -hmm.